English actress Phoebe Dynavor's portrayal of Daphne Bridgerton in Netflix's romantic period drama has catapulted her to commercial fame. That being said, a lot of fans are still looking forward to her character's appearance in the next season, but recently, it's been announced that Dynavor bagged a new role for another series. Does this signal the end of her involvement with Bridgerton? Find out more in today's video. Phoebe Dynavor to star in upcoming Amazon series. The English actress bagged yet another Another lead role in a romantic drama, and this time under Amazon Studios as reported by Deadline, August 17, 2021. She's set to star in Naoisi Dolan's debut novel entitled Exciting Times. In the series, Dynavor will play the role of a woman named Ava, who is an Irish transplant abroad teaching English grammar to the children of the affluent. Her life takes an interesting turn when she's caught in a love triangle with a banker named Julian and a lawyer named Edith. So what does mean for Bridgerton. As we all know, Phoebe Dynavor and Reggie Jean Page both played the lead roles in last year's Bridgerton, which focused on the eldest Bridgerton sister, Daphne, who is the love interest of Simon Bassett. The show is based on Julia Quinn's novel series, which is produced by Shonda Rhimes, but earlier this year, Page announced his departure from the show. And now the actress has also commented on Page's exit from the show. During the Variety Awards Circuit podcast, she shared how she already Already knew and had a bit of a heads up on what's to happen. The show centers around the Bridgertons, and there are eight books, the actress explains. And I think maybe the fans of the books were more aware of that happening than the fans of the show, because I think the fans of the books know that every episode is about a different sibling, and we're very much passing on the baton to the lovely Johnny Bailey, who plays Anthony, and that will be the main storyline for season two and the story arc of season two. True to what Dynavor said, the second season production is already well on its way and will center on her on-screen brother, Anthony Bridgerton. Regardless of that fact, Paige's withdrawal from the series is still a heavy blow to the fans and viewers, and even Dynavor herself admitted that she was saddened by the news. Obviously, it's sad to see Paige go, Dynavor said, but I'm looking forward to being reunited with my family. Why is Reggie Jean Page not returning to Bridgerton? In an exclusive interview with Variety earlier in April 2021, the actor shared what he knew of his role in the show and how much time he will partake in it. It's a one season arc. It's going to have a beginning, middle, end. Give us a year, Paige stated. I thought, that's interesting because then it felt like a limited series. I get to come in, I get to contribute my bit, and then the Bridgerton family rolls on. Given how Julia Quinn's books focus on a certain Bridgerton family each time, it was a logical explanation that his character, Simon Bassett and Daphne Bridgerton, Phoebe Dynavor's character, will only last for a season. One of the things that are difficult about this romance genre is that the audience knows the arc completes. And he said, they come in knowing that, so you can tie people in emotional knots because they have that reassurance that we're going to come out and we're going to have the marriage and the baby. Despite this, viewers loved the romance between him and Dynavor and still had a lingering hope that they would somehow make an appearance in season two. However, Vanity Fair got hold of information that the actor signed up for only one season in the show. The Hollywood Reporter also brought news that he was supposed to return for a second season. Sources say the production reached out to Paige's camp in January or February with an offer to return after he and the show broke out, even though plans for season two never included his character, Simon. Despite all of this, the actor is looking forward to how the show will progress without him, especially with a new couple in tow for season two. I have nothing but excitement for Bridgerton continuing to steam train off and conquer the globe, he told Variety. But there's also value in completing these arcs and sticking to the landing. However, before Bridgerton was officially released on Netflix, the actor was pumped and expressed his intention on remaining with the show past the first season, which he shared in an interview with TV Guide in December 2020. I'm not sure I believe in paradise, Paige told the TV Guide. I know that the romance genre generally does. Part of the deal is that you get a happy ending. But as far as continuing to explore characters, I think that love is an evolving thing. It's a living thing, breathing thing that needs needs tending, that needs looking after, that needs mending when it gets worn or torn. They get married very young. They still have a lot of growing up to do. They have a lot to do, and I think it'll always be fun to watch them do that together. But alas, the actor has said his goodbyes to the series and off to a new adventure. Recalling some of her favorite moments with the actor during their shoot, Dynavor shared her fondest memories with Paige on set with E! Online. I remember shooting the last scene in episode one where Reggie and I have, like, our 
our first dance together, Dynavore recalled. And I remember thinking, wow, this feels kind of special. There were like fireworks going off behind us and it was like really romantic music. It felt like a really special moment. But you never know if it's going to come out on camera and the audience is going to feel that buzz too. It's hard to tell. The actress is set to return in Bridgerton season two, although she'll be taking a step back since the focus will be on Daphne's brother, Anthony. What are Phoebe Dynavore's current projects? Thanks to her global exposure playing Daphne Bridgerton, the actress received a lot of offers, such as the upcoming Sony Pictures film titled I Hear Murder, which was announced in late June this year. The film will be directed by Matt Spicer, who's known for his work in Ingrid Goes West, with Tom O'Donnell co-writing with Spicer in the screenplay. Not much information has been shared about the film, aside from the movie being a female-driven thriller, which will be produced by Doug Wick under Red Wagon Entertainment. As of late, the actress has finished filming another British drama film titled The Color Room, with Dynavore in the lead role as Clarice Cliff. The movie is based on the true story of Clarice Cliff, a legendary ceramic artist who used her skills and ambitions to break through the 20th century workplace that led to an eventual revolution. She's joined by Matthew Good as Collie Shorter, along with David Morrissey, Darcy Shaw, Luke Norris, and Carrie Fox among the cast. The official synopsis of The Color Room reads, With support from Kali and other women in the factory, Clarice fights her way to design the unprecedented Art Deco Bizarre range. In the middle of the Great Depression, she ensures the factory's survival and her future as one of the greatest Art Deco designers and a household name. Director of Sky Cinema and Acquisitions at Sky UK and Ireland, Sarah Wright, has commented on the movie. Clarice Cliff is one of the most iconic artists of the 20th century, a female pioneer who quite literally broke the mold in the English pottery industry in the 1920s. I can't wait to start this all British production and bring her incredible true story to life, starring the fabulous Phoebe Dynavore with Matthew Good and David Morrissey. This film will provide a fresh take on Clarice's professional and personal life, and it is apt. And I'm hugely proud that this film is written, directed, and produced by an all-female team. The movie is written by 2016 BAFTA Rockcliffe winner Claire Pete, who also voiced her agreement with Wright, especially in how the story was inspired by a single image of a young factory worker. The story was inspired by a single image, a young factory worker leaving her grim industrial reality behind her and stepping into the rainbow of the color room, a world of joy and possibility. It was thanks to the script winning at BAFTA Rockcliffe and being performed on a stage that it was picked up. And I'm thrilled to now be working with Phoebe and Matthew in bringing the color room to life. Speaking with Bustle.com, the actress couldn't contain her excitement and is honored to play such a role. It's truly such an honor to take on such a remarkable character, Dynavore said. The script is a beautifully written contemporary take on the 20th century, and I feel proud to be working with such a strong female team, both in front and behind the camera. I look forward to telling Clarice's story and of course working with Matthew too. What is the latest on Phoebe Dynavore? Other than news about her current and future projects, other latest news about the actress is on her dating life, which isn't looking good at the moment. For the past six months, she's been dating the American actor and comedian Pete Davidson. Word has been going around that the two finally called it quits after dating for half a year, and their latest public appearance as a couple was from a Wimbledon match last July where they were seen huddling close. However, their romance fizzled out due to both of them being committed to their crafts. Dynavore made her way back to the UK to continue filming Bridgerton season two, whereas Davidson was busy filming Saturday Night Live in the US. Aside from filming the movie Meet Cute alongside Kaylee Cuoco. Although the two have called it quits due to the distance, an insider has disclosed that they are still on good terms. And that wraps up today's video on why Phoebe Dynavore's new role may mean she's leaving Bridgerton. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.